Here is a page taken from the August 1988 issue of Iron Man magazine. In the photo you see Wayne D'Amelio on the left and Dominic Serto on the right. The subtitle of this article is The IFBB's Long Arms of the Law Talk Candidly About Professionalism, Drugs, and Bodybuilding's Future. But what's so interesting about this article is not what is written in it, but the photos of these two men printed within the article. These two men were, at the time of the article was published in Iron Man, officials in the International Federation of Bodybuilders. And in this article, these so-called long arms of the law are seen making some interesting hand gestures. Let's analyze. Look once again at the photo of Dominic Serto and the words printed underneath his photo. It reads, Pro Bodybuilding, it's in good hands. We also see Dominic making the internationally known hand signal representing the AOK. -OK. What the average reader of this article would not have known is that this hand gesture, the AOK -OK sign, is a hand signal that is taught and used in Freemasonry. The three extended fingers represent the three pillars of Masonry. So I ask you, pro bodybuilding is in whose hands? This gesture provides a clue. More clues can be found in this ad featuring Corey Everson, Miss Olympia. This ad appeared in the August 1986 issue of Muscle and Fitness. In the top right hand corner of the ad, you see the words, My Secret Revealed. The secret is not that Corey Everson developed her physique using the Weeder products in the ad, but the secret is revealed underneath what the Weeder products are displayed on, the three pillars. Again, the esoteric reference to the three pillars of Freemasonry. In this ad titled, Pure Power, we see Mr. Olympia Frank Zane flashing the sign that represents the three pillars of Freemasonry. Here we see world-famous bodybuilder Lou Ferrigno flashing the hand sign. Here is Mr. Olympia competitor Mike Mincer flashing the hand sign. Mincer is now deceased, having died unexpectedly at a very early age. Weeder has even gone so far as to incorporate the symbol into a logo representing his line of Olympian products. Don't be fooled into thinking that the symbol is simply meant to represent the letter O. Masons take the use of symbols very seriously and they attempt to control and intimidate those that have taken certain blood oaths not to reveal their secrets by communicating threats through the use of symbology. Getting back to those original gestures made by the so-called long arms of the IFBB law, we can now decode them. The officials through fear and intimidation are controlling the IFBB bodybuilders. This symbol means that they had better keep their mouths shut about what goes on behind the scenes in bodybuilding. The caption underneath this picture says it all. Pros that break the rules will get tough. Although the IFBB and the Weeder organization has tried to keep things covered up, the truth is slowly coming out. God's Word tells us in Matthew 10.26, Fear them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. For more revelations on the cult of bodybuilding, visit www.musclemissions.org.